Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today we have more Starfinder, the RPG goodness. We have another pawn collection. This time it's Tech Terrain. With all the pawns I've shown you in the past, now it's time to show you some of that cool Tech Terrain that goes along with those pawns. So let's flip this over and take a look at it. Ooh, this is a heavy one. The Starfinder Pawn Collection Tech Terrain. Bring the fixtures and fittings of the future to your tabletop with this collection of more than 100 terrain pawns for use with the Starfinder role-playing game or any tabletop science fantasy RPG. Printed on sturdy cardstock, each double-sided pawn contains beautifully full-color images of the kinds of terrain and features that you would find in a space station, a gritty futuristic city, or on an alien planet. Each pawn lays flat or slots into a size-appropriate plastic base from the Starfinder Pawns base assortment. Make them easy to mix with traditional metal or plastic miniatures and terrain. With multiple pawns for common objects and furnishings, the Tech Terrain Pawn Collection is the best way to ensure you've got the perfect set dressing for every Starfinder role-playing encounter. Dozens of, wild, of vividly illustrated pawns help you customize your campaign space stations and alien planets. The Tech Terrain Pawn Collection includes all this great stuff, which I'm not going to read all of that, but here you have it. It's a cost of $24.99. Came out in 2019. Of course, you need more information. Go to posio.com backslash star finder. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what we got on the inside. Of course, we have a bunch of pawns on the inside, but here's the great thing. Eventually, I'll punch them out here, and then what happens is I make sure I keep the dust jacket you know, this way I have the cool cover art. And of course, on the back, I have the listing of everything that's included in this packet. So let's take a look at this again. Front and back are the same. Some barbed wire, some benches, some cars, some bunks, catwalks. When you flip it over, it's the same. Except they don't have the names on it. I like the fact that it doesn't have the names on it. So you can put either side up. That's cool. I like that. All right, that's sheet one. Here, let's take a sheet two. Chain link fence. Computer consoles. Barriers. Conveyor belts, couches, some crates, some desks, some doors, There's some fungus among us, some alien plants. Flip it over again. No names on the back. I like that. That's kind of cool. The names are on all the pawns that have released. It's they have the names on the front and back. This appears to be the first set that I've looked at. That was about the second page. Steel doors, stone doors, got a raft, pipes, wires, garbage bins, hatches, different kinds of machinery, medical table, some barricades and some barrels. That's cool. And this time you flip it over, getting the no names on it, so you could put up either way you want to do it. That's cool. That's sheet number three. Here's number four. Some statues. So like it said on the instructions, some of the stuff you lay down, some of the stuff you put inside the bases. Again, the bases are not included in this set, which is kind of a downer, but it does save on costs. Um, you could pick up the bases. Uh, again, the Starfinder ones are kind of hard to find. So I always pick up the uh, Pathfinder um, pawn base assortment, which gives you a, a combination of small, medium, and large. Both these here, as you know, that certain ones like the statues, you'll stand up. The other ones, you just lay flat down on your maps that you have. And you're good to go. Okay. 
that cool. Sheet five. Sheet. Airlock doors. Cool. Wall of fire. Craters. Like junk piles. A little force rather than a force field. A couple doors. Got some chairs. Again, when, when using these, it's, it's your choice whether you use the name up or the name down, to the, to, or, or no name, I should say. All right. Sheet six. It's not the man of steel, it's a wall of steel. Again, the illustrations are great. I mean, these are, these are really well illustrated. Um, again, this is just video, but if you saw them in person, the colors really pop. And when you lay them down on a map, they're going to look really, really cool on them. Again, they pop out real easy. And they go right back in as well. Just as easy. So if you want to keep them on the base, you can. If you want to pop them out, you could do that too and put them in a different container. I put them in different containers. I never keep them on the... Only for the videos do I keep them on. And here you go, sheet seven. Got some crates, got some haze, got some dead aliens, got some dead humans, got some fire, floor hatches, fluid spill. Some ice, some lava. The floor is lava. Point of phrase, some small machinery, some manholes, some mines, and some mud. Just what you need, some mud. And I, I you know, for me personally, I, I have thousands of miniatures at the house here but the truth of the matter is you know the more i play with these pawns the reality to me is it's so much easier than going out buying the figures buying the paint taking the time to paint them it's just the time we don't have you know the older we get the less time we seem to have especially for our hobbies so to me grabbing these um these pawns have been the best savers it's allowed me to jump in grab right into games and you know I have to worry about painting up figures. You know, if you're going to play 40K, of course, you're going, to, you're going to paint them up. You're going to play some of these board games, you're going to paint them up. Yes. But again, for a Starfinder, something you can just grab and go. I don't feel the need to have to buy figures and to paint them up. Makes it a lot, lot easier. And you have all the figures that you need for the games right at your fingertips. And there you have it, eight boards included in this unboxing, which is now concluded. And today's unboxing, of course, was the Starfinder Pawn Collection Tech Terrain. Again, thank you so much for joining us for this unboxing video. If you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed it, you could always leave us a like, uh, leave a comment below. Again, be safe, be well, enjoy the remainder of your day, and we'll catch you on the next unboxing video.